Alright, that's Bernini's, Bernini's Colonnade. Our, um, it's above the high altar here in St. Peter's, excuse me. And um, I finally made it here. It was uh, 10 years ago I saw an etching of the Vatican done in the 18th century full of people like like it is now um, that's the 18th century I, th I think it was an 18th century etching and it was you know flat it wasn't a very good etching but it was, it was in the National Museum at, in Washington and uh, I just come back from my debacle at the University of Dallas which I'm, I don't think anyone who watches this is gonna know what that I'm talking about I'm not going to explain it here, except to say that I'd come back from the University of Dallas, which is supposed to be one of the best Catholic schools in the country. In fact, is I think, and um, where I, I've been participating in a summer program, and things didn't turn out very well when I was there, and I decided to drive home to Maine. Uh, I think it was in August, and like I said, usually when I go past DC, I usually stop to, to see the National Archive or go to the Art Museum like I did, I did that time, and um, so anyway, I stopped and I saw this etching and I thought to myself at the time, it was like a moment, a decisive moment where I saw, you know, how bloody Baroque this place is, and how, uh, and at the time I thought, you know, it's ostentatious and it was, it's sort of too much and almost verging on sort of a, I don't know, a carnal excess or something, I don't even know. You know, all this Renaissance realism. I call it realism. It's it, actually, it's, it's hyper realism. <laughs> and then you get these cherubs flying around. So I guess it's maybe not re realistic, whatever that may mean at all. I don't know. But, um, you know, I had forgotten. And I, I guess I recognized it later that this place is this immensity of space. You know, you're inside this place. It, it, it's immediately humbling. And, so it's awe, it's awe inspiring you know you just come in and it, it's um I mean it, it's so it's like a skyscraper but with you know the skyscrapers you know the modern skyscrapers are just impressive because they're big generally speaking unless you're talking about the Chrysler building in New York or the New York the uh, Empire State Building they, they have that that uh what is it called? I'm, I'm, flaking, I'm flaking out. I mean, those buildings are beautiful, probably in and of themselves. But, you know, this place has that immensity in addition to this ex excess of beauty, you know? And then it has the sacramental presence. And you can feel it when you come in. At least I can, you know? And I think that if you come in with it, I mean, you can't, I, I can't help but feel this, the presence here, you know, the presence of, of God, you know, of the whole, of, of God in the, in the, in the tabernacle, which here, there are, it's on a side, a side tap chapel, it's, because the main nave of the, uh, church is just overwhelmed with, there's too many people, like tourists, just gawking and taking pictures, and here I am, I'm not gawking, but I'm filming, here, this is the side altar, where they have the, Blessed Sacrament Reserve for the people who've come actually to pray. And I'm going to join them here now. But I just wanted to say that whatever my problem was 10 years ago, I think it was rooted in an intellectual, maybe even a spiritual pride, and I renounce it here. And uh, I choose to be simple and to just be like a child and be really glad, you know, that this place exists. And not sit here like a, some sort of stupid, you know, effed up art, you know, graduate student or something. And come in and try to critique everything. And judge it, you know, for, for its aesthetic value or whatever. When I should just keep my mouth shut and be, be glad. Be thankful. Anyway, this place has caught me up left and right, so I'm going to stop talking and go and pray.